Hello again, this is Mike, and today in Lesson 5, we're going to be setting up a surveillance camera or video camera in the mobile app. So let's go ahead and dig in and get started. So I'm going to go into my SmartLink app. I'm going to reconnect to it. I'm going to go up to the left-hand symbol where the hamburger sign is. I'm going to go ahead and press that. I'm going to go into Settings, and then I'm going to go into Video. And if you look on my screen there, you'll see that I've already installed three cameras on my system. And below it, you can see that we are coming soon with a new doorbell app that works with this application as well. But that uh, will be in another video. But what we're going to do to set up another camera is we're going to go ahead and hit that plus sign right there in the middle of the screen. And then we're going to choose the camera that you have. So... Most of the cameras we use are the uh, first one, which is the indoor fixed. There's another one, and I believe it's the third one, which is the indoor pan and tail. Those are the two most common cameras we use for indoor. And outdoor, mostly use the outdoor fixed bullet camera. So let's go ahead and install a indoor wireless camera. And I'm going to go ahead and select my first one. It's going to ask, ask me for the name of it. So let's just put Mike's, oops, let's put Mike's cam. From there, it's going to ask me to scan the QR. So I'm going to go ahead and press this button here, and then it's going to come up on my desk, and I'm going to go ahead and come over to my camera, and boom, there it is. It's going to scan that QR code, and it's going to find that camera, and it's going to ask me to continue. So there it's going to register my camera, and then from there, it's going to give you the directions on how to connect your camera. So you're going to go ahead and plug into the camera, into the outlet, and then you're going to wait 30 seconds before continuing. So let's just go ahead and do this for um, demonstration sakes. I'm going to go through there. It's going to ask me, do you want to enroll it by Soundwave or Ethernet? And I prefer to use the Ethernet way. There's another way of setting this up is with, with using the Mac ID, and we can set that up from our, through our office. But right now we're going to just go through the Ethernet. And I would press that, and you're going to just plug this right into the back of your router with a little cord, and you're going to need to power up the camera as well. And it does come with a little power adapter, so you could plug them in, plug it into the back of your router, wait your 30 seconds, and then continue. And then from there, it's going to go ahead and connect to the camera, and we'll go ahead and give this a couple of seconds. And this will do the registering process through your router. And then at some point, it's going to say we're done and complete it. So let's go ahead and give it, I'll give it another 10 or 15 seconds here. And then I'm going to go ahead and come back into here. And then from there, usually with that other screen, I didn't wait long enough. But if you wait another 30 seconds to a minute, it will find the camera, then it'll sync it up, and then you'll see that the camera is located on your screen here now. So I'm going to go back into my app, and I'm going to just arrow back into this. And now if you look in the bottom, you'll see a house, and then you see the cameras. If I press this down, it's going to come up, and the cameras are going to pop up. And then here's Mike's camera. And if we had a video right now, that, that would pop up, and then you would see recording of this camera, and you would see it live. And that's pretty much all there is to know about setting up a video camera. Other uh, cameras, you can see that if I go through the app, it'll come up live and I can turn my phone in horizontal and it will bring up the picture. I also can zoom in on the camera or locations in my backyard to look at something. As you can see, I'm squeezing this with my, my fingers. And then to get out of the screen, you're just going to hit the back screen and then go back into your home screen as well. So in another video, I'll show you how to do the recording and how to save recordings to your laptop and how to set up cameras so that you can trigger events to let you know that somebody has been uh, in the camera area and you can go live to look at it. Other than that, I hope this video uh, sets you up for setting up cameras in your house. And in other videos, we'll be uh, covering other ways that you can use recording to capture events. Until next time, thanks for watching this video.